in the name of Allah, the most gracious, most merciful. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Tariq Masood. Thank you very much for watching my videos and your wonderful support to make this channel a grand success. We are partner and a family. Please subscribe and share our channel if you haven't done so far. We as a team can work together to convert our challenges into opportunities and opportunities into success stories. These success stories can be monetized into value addition. Thank you very much again for your precious time. Today I am going to discuss a first time a smart grid control challenges model. Statcom, SSC, UPFC, SVC, TSSC, TCVR. So based on audience input we will continue. If the, we did not get a uh, considerable feedback from the audience we might discontinue. So we have a plan to deliver a hundred lectures on smart grid control challenges model. Okay, before my lecture I used to read a chronic verse Rabbi Shrahali Sadri Vajas Sarli Amari Wahalalu Uqdatam Millisani Yaqfu Kauli Rabbi Zidin Ilma. Okay, now I am going to run a complete trail on my lecture number one on smart grid control challenges model. Okay, smart grid operation and control challenges. Today I am going to give introduction lecture number one. So my future plan to deliver 100 lectures on smart grid operation and control challenges. From my next page I will demonstrate my plan to deliver more than 100 lectures. Okay, this is my plan here. So I will demonstrate fax technology power semiconductor devices, voltage source converter, self and long commodity current source converters, SVC, statcom operation, statcom series com compensators, static voltage phase angle regulators, combined compensator UPFC, special purpose fax devices and application. I will give some exact uh, application of the fax devices implemented in the United States of America. So Shaping the global energy delivery facts on resolved grid lock, delivering clean and poor energy. That is the ultimate goal of the facts devices. That is why we want to understand facts concept and technology. Okay, from my next slide, I will give a key takeaway points and then I will run a complete trail today as an introduction on smart grid. Okay key takeaway points here so first uh, if you can see here on my right side there is a picture a doctor of the Latia Dries uh, my mentor uh, the innovator of smart grid so today I'm going to demonstrate electricity record for our civilizations here and uh, then we will discuss uh, electric power functionality then we will put some highlight on energy efficiency from generation to consumptions and ultimate goal of the smart grid. So now I'm going to run a complete a trail from my next slide of what is the smart technology and what why we needed a smart grid. Okay, uh, all my workshop on related to smart grid operation and control challenges models dedicated to faculty member and student in particular leadership visas and deans. Uh, University of Engineering and Technology, Lahore, NFC, RCT, Mehran, NED, Karachi, Habib, uh, South Asia, National University, NAST, International Research Law, Karachi Electric, Distinguished Lectures, Delivered, IEEE, Qatar Section, University of District Columbia, University of Texas, Langton, Texas, Tech University, Lubbock, University of Bath, Qatar University, Texas a &M. University of Granada, Spain, University of Salman, Kaqom, set up of the city, University of Peshawar. Challenges and opportunity for smart grid operation and control. Okay, so next couple of weeks we will discuss uh, um, uh, contents, then we'll give some introductions, then approach of the electric power grid performance, electric power transmission system technologies, approach to implement smart transmission technologies, futuristic viewpoint of the technology concept. This four or five items we will discuss next couple of weeks. Okay, 
if you can see here uh, this slide very important uh, on my lecture here you can see the on the left hand side it's a uh, underdeveloping countries on uh, right hand side the developed countries so so it's it's demonstrated a bridge uh, between uh, underdeveloping countries and developed countries so now as a technology so how we can shift underdeveloping country into developing countries this is in our head and based on technology we should decide how we can improve the system okay now we can see here this slide demonstrate here the power being produced convey both energy and information as needed first so the energy is being produced and then the information being transmitted in their corridors as required and the system is functional number 2 deliver energy to the user with no emission at the point of use that is second provides an increasing array of innovative product and services that is third important when we have the electricity being produced so three basic fundamental they should meet energy and information energy to be clean energy emission controls and number 3 provides an increasing array of the innovative product and services so then it should be a more innovative and product and services it should deliver okay what electricity required for our civilizations moments of the electricity power outages if you can see here uh, this is a house i will give you one small example the power has only been off for 5 minutes so no father but the torture how will we survive no lights no computer no tv so it's mean so the electricity or power is a uh, the lifeline of a two day civilized society so that's very important we need to understand so the civilization society cannot move if there is no electricity so this is a lifeline of civilization society okay how the electric power function elements of the power system if we can see here first you can see in the in the color keywords blue transmission green uh, green distribution black generations so power being generated here then transmitted through transmission lines and then distributed through distribution network and here is the sub substation transmission will consume the primary customer and then the secondary customer with the power is needed what is basically done here first a power generation then a voltage step up then a transmission here step up and then it would be able to transmission and voltage that step down and then loads to power to be consumed that is how the power symmetry is functioning okay no energy efficiency from a generation to consumption if you see here energy efficiency you have 100% coal here okay when we used a coal for a power generation so we will come across 65% will be losses and we will produce only 35% electricity from 35% electricity you have another losses that is called the transmission distribution losses that is 7% that is 7% it, it's in the developed countries but under developing countries these losses are 30 to 35% these are incorrect in transmission distribution okay then you will gain only 32% electricity okay 
So from 32% electricity, so then it will be utilization at the end users here. So over here, there is also 88% losses if you will not use an appropriate light lamp. So then end user would have 88% losses. Okay. So that is a short schematic which demonstrate from generation to consumers how a power being generated and being consumed and how much losses can be measured. Okay. Now we are going to discuss smart grid. What is basically smart grid? It does just mean a smart meters. So, then we start thinking technologies to modernize a transmission system which includes wires, substation, transformers, switches and much more. Number one. Then improved reliability, quality, efficiency on the power network and in energy users. So that is a basically a smart meanings of a smart grid. Okay, now on my next slide, we are going to define what is a smart grid basically. Okay, the ultimate goal. What is the basically ultimate goal? The ultimate goal to change entire energy conversion chain into a smart infrastructure. So from generation, transmission, distribution and consumer. So everyone must be changed into a smart infrastructures. So that first is a centralized energy management system, communication solutions, smart substation automations, distribution automations, control monitoring and condition monitoring and asset management systems, smart meterings, building automation and the last year are power transmission. So transmission we are going to discuss next four or five weeks on smart technology, how the smart transmission can be improved by implementing fax technology. Okay, what is the smart grid basically? Smart technology add as own concept. Be, think big, that is important. What is the definition basically? First, a bi-direction electric grid and communication network that improve reliability, security and efficiency of electric system for small to large scale. It will include generation, transmission, distribution, storage and consumption. It also includes a software hardware application for a dynamic integrated and interoperable optimization of electric system operation and maintenance and a planning distributed energy resources, interconnection and integrations, a feedback and control at consumer levels. So it means you have to educate a consumer in order to be a part of smart grid. That's very important. If you have done a huge improvement at generation side by using smart technology ideas and concept, Transmission side distribution, if you did not educate uh, your consumer, you will not uh, see the benefit which is supposed to be by implementing a smart technology, a smart grid. So the consumer is an essential part of smart grid implementation stage. Okay, smart grid evolutionary development. Over here, driving factor and influences. So it has a uh, three type of factors. First are external influences or external factors and second operational factors or operational influences and third are grid condition requirement or grid condition, condition and its operating factors. That are the three factors which are driving and influencing how the smart grid behave or can perform as required. First here, fundamental approach for a smart grid operation challenges. First, if you can see here, grid condition and requirement important. Based on that, that could be a variable power supply, number one. 
integration and distribution resources, increasing distance between resources and load. Then number two here, operational factors, greater transmission network complexity, number one. Number two, aging infrastructure and lack of experts, number two. Number three, high power delivery and quality. That is the operational factor. Then, number three, external factors. Legal and regulatory framework. Integration of renewable energy resources, CO2 reduction and energy efficiency. That are the external factor that is affecting and must be addressed as part of the smart grid portfolio. Okay. Now, all these factors to be addressed. So, what we have to do now in order to address these factors, what we need to do it. So, complex a grid structure required. That is a smart solution. Okay. So, now on my next slide, I'm going to conclude a two day my lecture here and give you a plan what I'm going to demonstrate next couple of weeks. Okay. Now, this is my last slide. So, what I'm going to deliver next couple of weeks will demonstrate a first a self feeling as far as the part of smart grid. Smart grid, rapid detect, analyze, respond and restore. That is first instance. Number two, empowers and incorporates the consumers. Ability to incorporate consumer equipment and behavior in grid design and operation. That is second. As part of the smart grid can be witnessed. Number three, tolerant of attack. Grid mitigates and resilient to physical and cyber attacks. That is number three here. Number four, provides a power quality needed by the 21st century users based on CMBA curves. Grid provides a quality power consistent with consumer and industry needs. Okay. Number five here accommodates a wide variety of supply and demand. Grid accommodates variety of resources including demand, response, combined heat and power, wind, photolite and end users efficiency. Last year fully enabled and is supported by the competitive market. Okay. So that is now last point. So these seven points will be discussed by using a smart grid next couple of weeks. Thank you very much for your precious time. Thank you very much for your time. Please don't hesitate. Send me your feedback and comments t.muzu.dr at boss.edu. Thank you very much. Please stay at home, stay safe, inspired and blessed. Thank you very much again.